we had to try to obtain the human sequence, not the rat sequence, and try to make it in large enough amounts to be commercially useful. In our case, we failed by a little bit. We had to make 20 milligrams per liter of insulin in order to become commercially useful. We got to 19 just under the cutoff line, and the project never became successful. Genentech's case, they actually made a human insulin, and that human insulin, made by a somewhat different procedure, finally went to market. And nowadays, of course, the only insulin you would get on the market would be synthetically made by these recombinant DNA techniques.